Okay. Now, uh, once we have uh, understood about this Raspberry Pi uh, 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 simulator, and also I have explained to you that how do we go about creating the IoT hub. And in the last uh, example, we have also already captured the shared access key that we will be using uh, in order to uh, connect a device over here. Now, my next job will be to register a device in the IoT hub, uh, which we want to connect with my IoT hub infrastructure. So, let me open my IoT hub that I created previously. And in this IoT hub uh, uh, blade, I have couple of options that are available. Here in this case, under the explorers section of my IoT hub uh, blades, I have, a, I have an option called as IoT devices. So, I click on my IoT devices, All right? This is the device explorer and in this uh, device explorer, it is possible for me to go ahead and <coughs> create a new or add a device that I want to go ahead and use and I can also go ahead and uh, execute a command here to obtain the list of all the devices that are currently connected with my IoT infrastructure. So, I will click on add because I am going to add a new device that I want to go ahead and use it over here. All right, uh, device ID, we will be entering a device ID and please remember this, this, this device ID is case sensitive. So, you have to be careful about, uh, uh, care, careful about this particular part, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, available to us. And the device ID, important point to remember is that whatever device ID you enter here, it may be visible in the logs collected for customer support and troubleshooting. So, we shall not be uh, using any sensitive information while naming it over here. So, I will say my device name is uh, demo uh, raspberry <coughs> Pi, right? This is a unique one and here it is asking me for different type of authentications that I want to go ahead and use. If I want, I can use the uh, CA signed certificate, then it will ask me to up, uh, upload the certificate. It will also, I can also use the self signed certificate in case I am in the development stage. I can also use the symmetric key that is available to me over here. So, if I select this option of uh, uh, symmetric key, uh, I have the options to go ahead and uh, you know, I have also got a checkbox which says uh, primary key and uh, secondary key etc. that is available to me and I have this option which says enable and I want to go ahead and get connected with this over here as such in this case. So, once I have created this device, I will click on save. So, it is going to go ahead and add the device and it says here, you can see that now my device is enabled over here and if I click on this device, it will open another pan for me called as a device explorer. So, in this device explorer, I have uh, uh, device details which are available to me and then you can see over here that we have uh, options like, uh, uh, you know, uh, device twins, I have the message to device and direct method, etc. We are in the IoT hub right now and we also have this option to uh, make it available to us uh, over here, all right. So, what we have is that we have just now uh, created uh, this option, uh, this device which is available to me over here and I have this uh, connection string again for the device, this particular device, I will click on uh, copy from here. <coughs> And uh, I can go ahead and paste this <coughs> key as well out over here, right? So, this I can explore lot of more things, lot many things here. Uh, we will uh, we'll see them later that uh, how can we actually do this uh, in this case over here. Now, let me switch back to my, uh, uh, to my uh, specific uh, uh, emulator, uh, simulator rather that is simulating my Raspberry Pi. And then from there, I will be running the sample application on the Pi web uh, simulator and see that how exactly the information can go ahead and uh, uh, connect with this as such over here. <coughs>